like the same color. Sam Space 81 here, uh, visiting a friend in Heath, Texas today. He just bought a, a really interesting car, and we're gonna have a look at it. It's a 1979 Pontiac Bonneville. Closer look at this classic. Allison, hey! Jason's wife, Allison. Hey, good to see you again. You too, you have the car? Tell me about it. Yeah, I, Jason had tell me, told me about it on the phone and I said, hey, we've got to get this one on YouTube. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's so nice. So it's a 1979 Bonneville. Um, actually from Oklahoma. So the guy was, it came from an Indian reserve actually. And so the guy had it so well he bought it in 1997 this would be a two owner and uh it's a beautiful car mint condition it looks like somebody really took care of it mint condition i haven't opened the door yet Let's... oh just wait it's mint condition the headliner is like brand new this was obviously a car that they kept in in a garage oh wow look at it It's like a perfectly ripe avocado. I know. We actually, her name is Olive. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And so I, I really love the uh, the rims on it because it's like old schooly rims. That's what I love. Oh yeah, and it's got the skirts. I know the skirts. Yeah. And how much, how much longer did they put fender skirts on cars? You know. Yeah, I know, I know. And the color is just so amazing because I've never really seen this color. What do they call it? Do you know? I'm not quite sure. But it's never been like, you know, never repainted or anything. So this is the actual color. Can we go for a ride? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, great. Oh, it's quiet. <laughs> you, got, you gotta love that. Oh yeah, it's got the cushy seat. Yeah, I know. And it's like velvety velour or something. I think they call it velour. Do they velour? 64,000 miles. Actual miles. So nice. So you can see, and it rides smooth. So quiet. Yeah, it really is. And it rides really smooth, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. I'm comfortable back here. Yeah, it's so nice. You could take a nap. So this is a 1979 Pontiac Bonneville SE, I think it is. Yes, it is. It's so nice. It's look like somebody put a Craco cassette in it. Top of the line. You gotta love the hood. It's all long and like, you know, neat. This is when they were transitioning from a, you know, bigger cars to smaller cars. This was more of an intermediate car and back he, then. Oh, they, really? they didn't even consider it a, a big car. Yeah. So what would be considered a big car back then? Well, the the time period. Oh, okay, you know, 1979. Got you. Okay. Cars were just getting smaller in general. Oh, okay. Oh, it rides nice. Yeah, it's so nice. And it rides so smooth.
It feels like a substantial car. It really is. Somebody's gonna get a great car when I sell it. To last this long. Oh, it's fully loaded. It doesn't have idiot lights. It's got real gauges. <laughs> hey, that's another one. High performance radial tune suspension. Non smoker. High end Craco. Electronic display. Digital. Some of that cassette action. Climate control. Look at that. How good shape the face is in. Rear defrost. into the shag forest. Show us, hey, show us the Ernie Miller decal, Allison. Did it? It says service at Ernie Miller only. Does it? Oh yeah. I'm horrified there was tan floor mats back here. There are. Gotta have green. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Probably can't order any Jason. any green, green ones nowadays. No, you can order anything online. No? Maybe you could find some. This is what they had. I'm throwing this up. I bet it's got the original Tire? spare back there. Yep, sure does. Suburbia. 